FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Welcome, this is FCA on LSN, and tonight we bring to you the 15-1 Fairfield Christian Academy Knights, and they take on the 12-4 Gehanna Christian Eagles. Gehanna Christian is second place in the MoCal, while Fairfield Christian Academy is first, and tonight should be a battle for the MoCal. I'm Caleb Walls, alongside with Mr. Jack Davidson. Jack, how are you? I'm fine, Caleb. Welcome, everyone. Should be a great titanic struggle, as Marty Brenneman likes to say on the Reds broadcast. <laughs> Tonight we'll open up with a little uh, sponsor here with the Service Master Clean by Todd George. Cleaning services for Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way at work and at home. Service Master Clean by Todd George is proud to be a Six Sigma company demonstrating their uh, commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George. You can contact them at 740-687-1077. Hannah Christian Eagles coached by Chris Joseph, 12 and four on the season, seven and one in the MoCal, good for second place. Starting lineup, Anthony Heber and Emmanuel Dupa. Caleb McLaughlin, Caleb Walker, and Michael Ramsey for the FCA Knights, coached by Coach Robert Roger Hooper, 15-1 in the season, 8-0 in the MoCal, good for first place. Justin Potoshnik, Zach Sullivan, Stephen Carpenter, Nick Spurgis, and Tyler Stevens. Winner of tonight's matchup will earn sole possession of first place in the MoCal and Caleb, it'd be a great opportunity for the Knights to close out their uh, MoCal existence, so to speak, with a championship, wouldn't it? Yep, very great. It's going to be an exciting game tonight. Two good, re two good records for both the teams. And I can't wait to start. It's, as you can see, the uh, student body off underneath the uh, oh, yeah. basketball standard. It's foil night. A bunch of them went to the local uh, dollar store and bought some foil there. Bought some foil. They got the paper bags all blown up and they'll pop them shortly. Yeah, they popped the foil bags when the Knights score the first points of the game. It's pretty exciting there. Officials tonight, Pam Schultz, David Diaz, and Lawrence Walden. Mr. Walden has the basketball. He'll head to the center circle. And we're about ready to begin. Ball's in the air, we're underway at FCA. Zach Sullivan with the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense for Gehanna Christian. Tyler Stevens with the basketball. To Sullivan. Stevens again, Potochnik, top of the key. Sullivan measures a three. Air ball, rebound to Gehanna Christian's Caleb Walker. Hebron with the basketball, Carpenter on him. Dupa to Walker. McLaughlin with the basketball to Ramsey. 
Dupa between the circles. Man-to-man -man defense for FCA. Shot up and in by Caleb Walker. Nice play call in there by the Gahanna Christian Eagles. Good shot selection. Seven minutes to go, first quarter of play. Sullivan, short, rebound to Gahanna Christian's Caleb Walker. Gahanna definitely has some athleticism over on their side of the ball. These two teams have met previously at Gahanna Christian. FCA came away a winner. That was a good game. Walker goes to McLaughlin. I post back to Walker. Ramsey. Dupa goes cross court to McLaughlin. Good patience by the Eagles. Very good patience. As the student body's chance boring, <laughs> want to see a little more action. A good strategy by Gehenna Christian because of the uh, firepower FCA has. Yeah. You want to kind of take the air out of the basketball, which they're doing, and uh, doing it well shorten so the game, so to speak. It's like FCA will extend the defense a little bit. Yep. Inside to Ramsey, turn around, jumper up and in. Very Ramsey nice with play, four, dude. or two, excuse me, four nothing. Very nice play. Tyler Stevens looks inside to Potashnik, gets it to Sullivan, back to Stevens, inside to Potashnik. Triple team, puts it up and jump ball goes Gehanna Christian's way. Potashnik got caught up in the middle of all those Gehanna Christian players there. Full court pressure by FCA. Potashnik with the steal up and in. There went the, the bags that the student section popped. The Potashnik on. another steal up and in. He's got four. This is what FCA wants to do, extend the defense. Get some steals on the pressure. Carpenter nearly with the steal and the ball goes Gehenna Christian's way. Good defense there by Stephen Carpenter offset the ball. Throw it in. So it's a good thing. Potashnik two for two tonight from the floor. He comes in averaging over 63% from the floor. Hebron to McLaughlin. Ball tipped. Carpenter with the ball foul. Good play there by Steven. Kayla McLaughlin is the guilty party, his first, team first. Stevens will inbound to Carpenter, 4.44 to go, first quarter. Spurgis to Carpenter, measures a three. Back of the rim, no. Spurgis keeps the ball alive. Sullivan tracks it down, inside of Potochnik. Knocked away. Hebron with the basketball and he'll slow it down. I think their game plan is to stay very patient. Dupa to Hebron. Ramsey. McLaughlin to Dupa and we got a foul on the floor like Tyler Stevens. Hmm. His first, team first. Coach Hooper imploring the defense to get up on their man. And we got a travel call. Looks like number five got poked in the eye there. And Coach Joseph is wondering how come there's not a foul. Well, definitely holding his eye there. John Oldfield in now for McLaughlin. 
Carpenter goes to Stevens, or excuse me, uh, Sullivan. Sullivan. Back to Carpenter. Works off a Spurgis pick, bounce pass to Potochnik. Stevens to Potochnik. FCA showing some good patience here yep. on the offensive set, and Carpenter hits a three. Steven Carpenter, his first three. He's averaging 19.9 per game. Ball Very goes good. inside to Ramsey. Puts it up, and he's fouled by Potochnik. Potochnik. Justin's first, team's second. Timeout, FCA. Timeout on the floor, 301 to go. And with first the timeout, play. we'll bring to you the home of Joy Farm. The home of Joy Farm is a 60-acre equine boarding facility located on Lakewood near Lancaster. Ohio built in 2011, the home of Joy Farm has a 48,000 square foot top of the line equine facility with a temperature control, controlled viewing room, tack room, and loft space with plenty of parking to make events comfortable for both people and the horses. You can locate the home of Joy Farm online at homeofjoyfarm.com. You do that so well. How long did you practice that before the? Uh, I, I went over them three times. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, without screwing them up there. <laughs> Stutter every, every now and then, but you know, trying to do my best. See, it's just like you do in football. When the red light's on, you're ready to go, aren't you? Oh yeah. How much are you doing for football now? You doing any weightlifting? Oh or? yeah, definitely every day. This will be a. Uh, covering uh, you, the FCA Knights, next year as you go to the Mid-State League. Ramsey line right hits the first. Yeah, well, I think all our sports will be going to the Mid-State League, so that should be really, really fun and exciting to watch. Ramsey with three off the rim, no, and Spurgis with the rebound. Carpenter, and we got a charge on Steven Carpenter. That was a nice take there by number 10. Third team foul. Knights up by two. Patachnik got good play there. Hand on it. <laughs> Tied at seven. Sullivan, no good. Tip, no. Slowing the ball again. Slowing down the ball. Patiently. Ramsey puts it up. No rebound. Loose. Dupa has it. Up and in. That was Caleb Walker. Shot there. Two point lead for Gehanna Christian. And we got a blocking foul. Yeah. Definitely wasn't set there. Dupa, his first. Yeah, the student section is going to be really into this game tonight. Rivals with Perfect Christian. Carpenter measures a three. Back to the rim, no. And rebound to Gehanna Christian's Caleb Walker. Old field fires a three, no good. Carpenter tracks it down. 70 seconds to go, first quarter. Sullivan measures a three, no good. Rebound to Stevens. And Knights will set it up under a minute to go. 
Burgess to Stevens. He'll fire a three. No. Nope. Rebound. Like a little three battle going on here. Yes, they do. Caleb Walker with a rebound. Walker's had a few rebounds here in this quarter. Caleb Walker, very tall. Stolen by Spurgis. Good defense there by Spurgis. Nick will fire. No good. Rebound taken away. That's Ramsey. And Coach Hooper may be talking to the team about uh, better sh uh, uh, pass shot it. selection. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Loose ball, Patochnik to Sullivan. 17 seconds to go. Because you're right, Caleb, it's been a, a three-point fest for oh, yeah. FCA. Ooh. Ball goes inside to Carpenter, and he gets stripped and a foul. 1.2 seconds to go. Huh. Foul is on Caleb Walker, his first. The team third. Each team has three team fouls. So FCA has... 1.2 seconds to uh, get a shot off here to end the quarter. Ball goes inside to Potashnik stolen, and Justin wanted a foul, no call, and we're at the end of one quarter of play. FCA down 9-7 on LSN. the FCA Brain Trust. FCA down 9-7 here, start of the second quarter, along with Caleb Walds, Jack Davidson. Here at FCA. Carpenter with the basketball. Stevens to Sullivan. Coach Hooper got on the Knights. Oh, yeah. At that uh, <laughs> quarter break. Inside to yeah. Spurgis up and in. That's what he wanted. Knights tie the game there. Score tied at nine. Anthony Barnes in now. That's Barnes with the basketball. Dupa goes to McLaughlin. Ball loose. Gets it to Barnes. Kicks it out to Walker. Walker fires a shot and he gets the roll. Those are just interesting shots when they bounce up top and then land in. Spurgis tries to go inside to Carpenter. Touch pass to Sullivan. Spurgis fires inside the arc. No, and rebound to Hebron. A little above the head of uh, Walker there. Ramsey comes in. Sitting down is Emmanuel Dupa. Zach Sullivan, senior guard, brings the ball. Carpenter, Barnes on him. Fires a three. That's off the mark. Tracked down by Gehanna Christians Hebron. To McLaughlin. Kicks it out. To Hebron, Anthony Hebron goes left side to Anthony Barnes. Caleb Walker having a fine game with the basketball. 
Ball stolen away, and now Carpenter. Yeah, he winds up with the ball. <laughs> yeah, good, good balance by Steven there. Inside of Potashnik, no rebound to Mr. Walker. Walker's having a rebound party he's, out he's, there. He's playing a good game tonight. Active on the glass, has a few points. McLaughlin with the lean in, no rebound to S Stevens. And we got a foul, I believe. Nope, it's just going to be off. Let's see. It looks like it will be a foul on McLaughlin. It is. Caleb McLaughlin is second. I didn't know if they were going to call a foul or just uh, say it was off McLaughlin's knee. 5.44 to go. First half of play. FCA down by two. This battle against the first and second place team in the MoCal. Very interesting game so far. That it is. Carpenter loses the basketball off of Caleb Walker and will go FCA's way. Oldfield checks in and McLaughlin sits down. McLaughlin sits down with two fouls. Oldfield enters again scoreless. You can see they're paying attention not only to Carpenter but also to Potashnik. Carpenter fires a three, hits. Steven Carpenter with six. Three balls in the first and second quarter for Steven. Barnes, and that's kicked out by Potashnik. Good kick save by Justin. See the uh, FCA student body in fine form. Yep. They're into it, definitely into it tonight. S some of them have taken the foil off. <laughs> I, I can't blame them. It's yeah. got to be hot. Oh, yeah. Of course, when it's 14 degrees outside, I think you look for any type of warmth you can. Mm -hmm. huh? You had a two hour delay today. How'd yeah, you like that? Oh, it was great. That kind of told us a little late, though, so I didn't, I didn't get to sleep anymore, but it's good to have that two hour delay. You, you probably like a two-hour delay and a two-hour early dismissal, right? Oh, yeah, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, Ca Cassie's next to me saying, yeah, that'd be great. Shot missed by Zach Sullivan, but we got a foul. Foul is on Anthony Heber. Got Barnes sitting down, coming back in Emmanuel Dupa. Spurgis inbounds to Potochnik. Carpenter works off a screen, rims it, no. Tip, nice tip to keep it alive by Nick Spurgis to Justin Potochnik, and Potochnik yeah. has six. Definitely playing a good hard game so far. FCA extending the defense. There's Potochnik with the steal. Trying to get into the passing lanes. Oh, yeah. He's so tall, he can get into those pretty easily. Sullivan, no rebound to Walker. Three-point lead for FCA with four minutes to go in the first half. Good crowd here tonight. There's your friend, Michael Ramsey, getting the ball, but that ball was out of bounds. Good break coming in now for Zach Sullivan. Zach sits down scoreless. Anthony Barnes comes back in and Caleb Walker sits down. Caleb Walker having a very good game so far. Have Walker for eight points tonight. Break. Carpenter, Potochnik, Stevens, and Spurgis on the floor for FCA. Carpenter with another three. Rims it no good. In and out. <laughs> Oldfield with the basketball. Break leaves his man for the double team. Loose ball. Barnes gets it.
see how active FCA's defense is where uh, oh, yeah. they get a chance to double team. They'll leave, leave their man. Errant shot. Carpenter with a rebound. Try to get that in there. He gets bounced. No call. Drives. No rebound. Loose. Carpenter tracks it. Nice oh. pass. Oh. Great Great hustle. Great. By Good Stephen play. Carpenter. I think he came up with his own rebound. Did that happen? Well, the Johanna Christian came down with the rebound. He essentially uh, uh, had a tip pass yeah. to Potochnik. It was just great that hustle. Was sick. That was great. Now, Steven's known for his scoring. He's averaging 19.9 points yeah. per game, but he's, uh, he's a heady basketball player. Oh. And he, he made that play happen right Definitely there. Definitely has an impact on this nice team. Potochnik. Kicks it out to Carpenter. 2.05 to go, first half, Knights up by five. It's 9-7, Gahanna Christian at the quarter mark. Carpenter fakes a three. Stevens will fire a three. No, rebound to Spurgis. He'll put it up, nope. And Potoshnik misses and tips it up and in. Man, Potoshnik having a nice game tonight also. 10 for Justin. I think that was just, I mean, Nick Spurgis could, yeah, was up there as, looked, as well. It, it was announced, Potochnik, so. Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> give it to him, and blocked by Potochnik. Oh, yeah. on fire. fire. With the basketball, to Spurgis. Carpenter, Stevens kicks it out to break. Potochnik with a three, good! 21-11. FCA up by 10. Potochnik is on fire. Really on his Justin game. with 13. And we got a foul on, I think, Tyler Stevens. We might have Clayton Christopher coming in now or Zach Stevens. That should be. Or Zach Sullivan, excuse me. <laughs> That's Tyler's second. Here comes Clayton. The Knights seem to be fine. They found their groove now. And on it. 60 seconds to go in the first half. FCA up by 10 in what was a close ball game. They just exploded in the oh past yeah. minute. Thanks to Justin Potochnik. Old field. There's our Caleb friend Walker. Caleb Walker. That's a three ball. That's 11 points tonight. Seven point lead for FCA. Pass intercepted by Walker. Break gets in the passing lane, hustles. Loose ball. Old field come, er, comes down with it. We got a foul. Ball's been everywhere. <laughs> the player's getting after it. Jordan Break is the guilty party. His first. Teams fifth, fifth, eighteen point three seconds to go. First half of play, FCA up by seven. I'm going to double check the uh, scoring totals here at the at the half because there have been some tips. That, there's another block by Potochnik. Nice play. There have been good some tips on both, you know, both sides oh, that yeah. I might have credited one player with a <laughs> uh, basket they shouldn't have. But uh, <laughs> scores right. Yep. Eight seconds. Hebron fires a three. No rebound. Follow. No good. Christopher long shot. No at the buzzer. Right. One right. half in the books. FCA leads by seven on LSN.
watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Hebron to Dupa. There we go. Sounds back on. We're having a little technical difficulties with the sound there. Sorry about that. FCA up 28-19. Walker kicks it out to McLaughlin. Stevens tries for the steal. McLaughlin puts it up and in. Good body nice control by, by Caleb McLaughlin. He's got Very five good. in the quarter. 
Seven-point lead now for FCA. Sullivan misses the three. FCA trying to extend the defense, stolen, and we got a foul on, I think, Tyler Stevens. It is. That's Tyler's third. And Jordan Brake coming in now. I want to remind you, you're watching FCA and LSN. Games air Sunday at 4 on LSN. Time Warner Channel 9. Game stream live online at fairfieldmedia.tv, and you can watch us also. When you want to, just go to fairfieldmedia.tv and click on the game you want to watch, and you can hear the golden tones of Caleb Waltz once again. <laughs> I don't know about golden, but close. Potochnik with the ball, and we got a foul on the floor. Jordan breaks the guilty party, his second. That's the team third. Oldfield with the basketball. Hebron, double team, high post. Loose ball, Carpenter comes down with it. The defense there by the Knights. Sullivan. Carpenter measures a three. Nope. Air ball. Here comes Dupa. Blocked by Carpenter. Loose ball. Coach Hooper calling for a three-second call to no avail. 3.33 to go. Third quarter of play. FCA up by seven. FCA 8-0 in the MoCal and Gehanna Christian 7-1. The winner takes over sole control of first place and probably wins the championship. That fouls on Emmanuel Dupa, his second. Uh, tripped up Sullivan there. And out no man's land. <laughs> Jordan Brake will inbound. Quarter started. Gehanna Christian had the ball and immediately was ball was stolen by Stephen Carpenter. Went the length of the floor, laid it up, missed the layup. Fouls on McLaughlin and Carpenter hit. One of two foul shots, so that's what you that's what you missed. Potochnik with a three. Got it! Well, but Potochnik's still on his game in the first half, so that's good to see from just Potochnik. Oldfield puts it up. No. Ramsey is fouled by Brake. Jordan's third. And now we got Tyler Johnson and Kayla McLaughlin coming in for Gehanna Christian at the next opportunity. Michael Ramsey, line left, shooting two. He's got five points, make it six on the night. First half, Walker and Ramsey had all the points for Gehanna Christian. Since then, McLaughlin's added five. Those yeah. are the three scores for Gehanna Christian. McLaughlin has a good opening half here. Banks it in, Michael Ramsey. Eight point lead for FCA. And looks like Gehanna Christian will extend the defense a little bit. Actually, what's going to happen is that Tyler Johnson is going to mark Stephen Carpenter wherever he goes. Break. I think Gehenna had a sub substitute in there. They put number 12 in. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Tyler Johnson. Okay, yeah. He played some JV before this game. There's Carpenter, loses it, gets it back. Sullivan. Now, this is not... There's a triple team, and we got... Oldfield over the back to Justin Potochnik. John Oldfield, his first foul. This is nothing that FCA has not seen in the yeah. past couple years. They've seen every type of defense 
really known to basketball. Mm -hmm. They've seen the triangle in two, the box in one. They've seen this type of defense where they'll, you know, mark a man on Steven and have him follow Steven where he, wherever he goes. Yeah. Mr. Hooper, I mean, Coach Hooper definitely works around that pretty well. Yeah, I asked him last year, what do you do in, in, in that situation? He says he just runs a regular offense. <laughs> It says it's, a, it's just a matter of execution. And we got That's a foul it. inside. Took out three or four shots and keep getting the rebounds there. Nice. Officer. And Sorry. the foul is on Nick Spurgis. That's Nick's first foul. FCA student section didn't like that call. Team fifth. FCA with five team fouls, Gehenna Christian with three. 145 to go here in the third quarter play. FCA up by eight. Back to the patient strategy for Gehenna. It worked when you're ahead, but when you're down by eight, you need some, yeah. you need some points. They have time. Plenty of time. He might be trying to draw the big guys out. Here's Spurgis with a rebound. Carpenter working on Johnson. Spurgis goes inside to Patasha, puts it up, and a foul. Is that on Caleb uh, Caleb Walker, Walker his yeah. second. Team's fourth. Yep, that's fourth. Kochnik line right shooting two. Justin's got 20. That's a good game right there. In the last game against, um, well, who did they play last? Uh, names on the tip of my. Uh -huh. The last game, I think it was against Madison Christian, he had like 38 in the, after three quarters and uh -huh. they sat off the fourth. Wow. Kochnik hits a boat. He's got 22. I think Justin had 38 points in that game and he sat out the fourth quarter. Yeah. Ten point lead with a minute to go. Third quarter. Blocked by Patochnik. Patochnik doing what he does best, blocking those shots. Sullivan will take it out to break. Spurgis goes cross court to Sullivan and measures a three. Nope. Rebound by my son. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He did that Mark to get on TV, <laughs> huh? Mark's looking forward to baseball. Oh, yeah, so am I. I'm ready to get to playing, too. He's a senior this year, and I talked to JT. He said, we're going to try to do some uh, television uh, broadcasts of the baseball team. There's a steal. Great with 30 seconds to go. Patochnik with a three. Nope, rebound. Carpenter puts it up and in. Carpenter with 11. Well, the Knights definitely taking control here in the second half. 12 point lead. And McLaughlin with a quiet bank. He's got seven all in the third quarter. Five seconds, four. Carpenter. Sullivan doesn't get the shot off. And that's the end of three quarters of play. Timeout on the floor. 35-25, FCA leads by 10 on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by...
Okay, we're going to bring you the Fairfield Medical Center. It's proud to support the FCA Knight and all of his Central Ohio with emergency care, orthopedic care, cancer care, and maternity care, and surgery at three convenient locations. Fairfield Medical Center, people you knew, care you trusted. You can reach them at FM, uh, what's the, FMCHealth.org. My bad there. That's very good, though. <laughs> You, that you, one you get to be my age, you need bifocals to read that. Spurgis with the rebound. Brake measures a three and hits. Jordan Brake in the books. As the student section goes wild. 13 point lead with seven and a half to go in the ball game. Old Field. It's at the Dupa. Heber. Kicks it out, Oldfield with a three, no good, rebound. Carpenter tips it out of bounds and it'll go Gehanna Christian's way. Good call. Yeah. 13 point lead for FCA. They've had quarters of seven, 14, and 14. They're down nine, seven at the end of the first quarter. They led 21 to 14 at the half and at the end of three, 35-25. Caleb Walker misses the three. Rebound to John Oldfield goes out of bounds, and it looks like stay a there. foul on FCA. Yeah. Zach Sullivan. That's his second. Clayton Christopher comes in for Zach. 16 foul for FCA. 7:02 to go in the ball game. Oldfield with the basketball. Inside Heber, nice fake, blocked by Potochnik. Very good. Break with the rebound. Potochnik's all over the ball on this defense. He's having a great night tonight. We're talking to uh, Justin, I think I read in the Eagle Gazette earlier this season, talked about Justin as shot block, and he's, he's learned to block the shot, keep it in bounds so that uh, he can tip it, yeah. keep it alive so keep that one of the the players, is his uh, teammates can pick it up, make yeah. a play off of it. Carpenter from inside the arc, no. Potochnik gets it, the break. Carpenter loses, loses the ball, the ball and we got a foul. John Oldfield his second, that's a team fifth. FCA with four timeouts remaining. Gehanna Christian with five. Carpenter line right, shooting two. Hasn't been too many timeouts called in this ball game. You're correct. Carpenter with 12. Usually, uh, you know, each team will use a, a, yeah. a couple of them. Of course, I've seen I've seen Coach Hooper use all five in the first <laughs> first half, <laughs> and uh, Carpenter misses the second. There's a JV game he's coaching, I think he's coaching Drew, my son, and uh, uh, he, I think he used all five in the first quarter. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, the JV team, they, I mean, it was, uh, they weren't playing well, and uh, <laughs> he, just, he just used them all. He yeah. uses them uh, to teach the game of basketball. Yeah. He's a, he's a great teacher of the game. Oh, yeah. Coach Hooper's my uh, ninth period strength training coach. I'm a uh, teacher yeah. at the school here, so. I was talking to Coach um, before the game. I said, you know, they have foil night. What they should have is a Coach Hooper night. And everyone come with a Coach Hooper mask. I oh, said, yeah. it would be great. <laughs> he laughed. He said, nah, I don't think he, then he, he kind of relented. But uh, it would be great. Everyone come with a Coach Hooper mask. Yeah. After all, what are they called? Hooper six man? Oh, yeah. The T-shirts they have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have some of those in the crowd tonight. Christopher High Post to Spurgis, back to Clayton. He'll fire, nope, rebound to McLaughlin. Bounce pass to Walker, up and Spurgis got him. Oh, they called Clayton Christopher on him. Okay, they could have gotten a... Uh, We've got Zach on that too, but got 
Slayton on it. First one missed by Caleb Walker. It's a well officiated game tonight. And now we got a timeout. Timeout, right. Gahanna Christian. All right, 527 to go in the ball game. FCA up by 14 on LSN. We're going to bring you another sponsor, the Darletta Miller Agency at 814 North Columbus Street in Lancaster. Your Lancaster Ohio Farmers Insurance Agency offering auto and fire insurance as well as IRAs and annuities. The Darletta Miller Agency, a proud supporter of FCA Sports. You can reach the, uh, contact them uh, for at the cell number of 740-687-6167. Uh, also, we bring to you the Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson have been serving Lancaster area for over 30 years. Located at 1400 Concordia Drive in Lancaster with their Sunday services at 10, 15 a.m. The Redeemer Lutheran Church is online at RedeemerLancaster.org. Also, we bring to you the Fairfield Christian Academy. It's food to offer students from preschool to high school an education of excellence with Christian worldview and plenty of engaging extras, including the Mid-State League of Sports, archery, media, drama, and music. Learn more at, FC, uh, at FairfieldChristianAcademy.com. You did that so well, you're on a roll. You need oxygen now? Woo, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Walker line left, shooting the second of two, misses, and Spurgis with the rebound. Christopher has it. Spurgis, Sullivan, good ball movement thus far by FCA. Christopher, Sullivan. Three seniors on the floor for FCA, and Nick Spurgis gets fouled by Caleb Walker. Yeah. Officials have to be on their best behavior tonight. I saw uh, my friend uh, Jim Barry, who's a former official in town, and uh, Jim is now supervisor of official. He's going to three games tonight huh. to grade officials for the tournament. So he's here for the first quarter, and huh. then heading. Uh, I don't know if he's going to Amanda Clear Creek uh, for uh, a, a quarter or two and then finishing up at Lancaster tonight. So he wants to see three officiating teams so he can grade them so that, you know, I guess they use a grading scale yeah. and the higher the score you get, the more games you're gonna get. <laughs> McLaughlin fires a three, he's got 10 all in this half. Yeah, he came out strong this half. Yes, he has. Spurgis, left hand up, no foul. Yes, foul. Tyler Stevens getting ready to check in. Foul is on Emmanuel Dupa, his third. It's a team seventh, so both teams now in the bonus for the rest of the game. Spurgis hits the first. That's Nick's third point of the night. Christopher sits down scoreless. Zach Sullivan and Tyler Stevens now at the guards. I guess you call Stephen Carpenter a guard. He, I mean, he, he's got the, the hops where he can play forward. Oh, yeah. I've Definitely. seen him play, uh, Spurgeon says, has, has, I've seen him play center. Yeah. A couple years ago. 41 28, the score, four and a half to go. And good play by Stevens to tie the ball up, and that ball goes to Gehanna Christian on the possession there. Yeah. FCA yep. having some good defense so far this, this half. Yes, Definitely. they have. Anthony Bard's in now for Gehanna Christian. Knocked away by Carpenter, will stay down the far end. Good play there. Yeah, this is the uh, horse heading into the barn part of the, the season for basketball. Yeah. As the tournament draw will be coming up in a couple weeks, FCA will see how, uh, how you know, who they draw, where they'll play. Foul on the floor is... Looks like Tyler Stevens is a little frustrated over there, so it might be on him. Yeah, it might be Tyler, you're right. Yeah. He's got good eyes. This is fourth. Yeah. 
double bo uh, bonus situation here. They have 18 fouls, too shy of the double bonus. First one up and in by Caleb McLaughlin. He's got 11. Oh, He's had a good, good second half here. And I jinxed him. 12-point <laughs> lead for FCA. Sullivan works his way out of the double team, and Spurgis, I think, got away with a travel there, but puts up his own miss. Nick Spurgis with six. Good play there by Nick. Yes, keep the ball alive. Ball loose, and Anthony Barnes gets in the book. Timeout. Gahanna Christian, timeout on the floor, 3.58 to go in the ballgame. FCA leads by 12 on LSN. And we're going to bring you the Fan Barbie Memorial Fund, supporting the education and equipping of Fairfield Media students and volunteers to provide community video broadcasts for Fairfield County. The Fan Barbie, Mem the Fan Barbie Memorial Fund, leaving a legacy with Fairfield Media. Also, the Central Ohio Ge General Surgeons are physicians who have advanced training that allow them to perform invasive procedures to the <coughs> for their patients. As Central Ohio Ger uh, General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. Central Ohio General Surgeons can be contacted at 740-654-6213. And we thank them for supporting FCA Sports. Fairfield Christian Church serving Lancaster for the past 40 years at the corner of Columbus and Whittier Street near the River Valley Mall. Now with a Baltimore campus on State Route 204, Fairfield Christian Church transforming lives one at a, t one at a time. And, and you can um, find, more out for m find out more information about them online at fairfieldcc.com. 3.58 to go in the ball game. FCA up by 12. They will inbound and they can go... Uh, the length of the baseline here. Hannah Christian is going to put on some type of press to try to get the ball back. FCA breaks it rather easily. Stevens cross court to Sullivan, back to Stevens, kicks it out to Carpenter. He's double teamed. Stevens, bounce pass to Spurgis, to Stevens. Spurgis, Patochnik. Nice play, block. What a play on both he ends that for, right Car his for Carpenter to come down with the ball and for Walker to block, and there's another great play. Patochnik to Sullivan. He'll fire a two, no, rebound to Hebron. And then action, we got a foul on, I think, Nick Spurgis. It is on Nick. A crazy secret of events there. It's his second, team ninth, so the next foul will put on FC will put Gehenna Christian in the double bonus, meaning they'll shoot two foul shots the rest of the way. Oldfield comes in, McLaughlin sits down. McLaughlin sits down with 11 points, and Oldfield comes in scoreless. Hebron up and good. So Anthony Hebron, his first point of the night. 11 point lead for FCA with 3.05 to go. Eliou. Oh. oh, so close yes. there. Missed. I haven't, I've never seen that in a high school game before. That's pretty interesting. Another block by Carpenter. And we got timeout FCA. FCA takes a timeout with 2.54 to go in the ball game. 43-32 the score. FCA up by 11 on LSN. And we're going to do our last sponsor. This week with Sheriff Dave Phelan on LSN TV. Lancaster Time Warner Cable Channel at 9. So Lancaster Time Warner Channel 9. Great guests and important information on this week with Sheriff Dave Phelan. Mondays at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Tuesdays at 12 noon and 9 p.m. on LSN, Lancaster Community TV. Available online at LancasterOhio.tv. I'm going to thank your sponsors for your support of today's game. They're committed to 
helping uh, the Fairfield media provide community broadcasting for Fairfield County. And they appreciate hearing that you enjoy the programming that they support. We thank you for watching, and we thank them for supporting FCA on the LSN. I want to remind you that, that uh, today's game is a high school production by the media students at Fairfield Christian Academy. S uh, yeah, students announcing. Uh, that's right. You're announcing, right? You're a <laughs> yep, student. I I'm a big kid. <laughs> uh, students on camera, students on graphics, students producing the game. Fairfield Media students are learning teamwork and skills that last a lifetime. Thank you for today's production of FCA on LSN. I want to remind you, too, that today's game is streaming live online at fairfieldmedia.tv. It's a production by the high school media students of Fairfield Christian Academy. Today's game will be available tomorrow at fairfieldmedia.tv. Look for it also Sundays at 4 on LSN TV, Time Warner Channel 9, and also fairfieldmedia.tv. Spurgis with the block. I think Spurgis got the foul. And it is on Nick. And that should, Nick's third, and that should put FCA uh, with 10 team fouls, so Gana Christian will be shooting the double bonus for the rest of the way. And the block is first. Remind you that games are available on demand at fairfieldmedia.tv, powered by YouTube. Laughlin splits the pair. She's got 12. Gahanna down by 10 now. Coach Hooper took that time out. I think he was uh, telling the players to be smart with the basketball. I don't think you like that alley-oop attempt. Oh, yeah. Uh, the last time FCA had possession because they could have gotten a... While it would have been pretty if it worked, uh, they could have gotten a, a better shot and worked some more clock. The clock is right now their friend if they can oh, yeah. work it down. I think you're going to see them be a little more patient with the basketball here. Yeah, there's a foul they're, they're on trying to do. Emmanuel Dupa, his fourth. And Coach Hooper feels very comfortable to put, put his guys on the line and let them shoot foul shots. Oh, yeah. One and one for Steven Carpenter. <laughs> Potochnik with a foul. Potochnik with 23. Goodness. 12-point lead for FCA. Quite a great game tonight. Carpenter high for the rebound, and that goes off of uh, Spurgis out of bounds. He almost had that rebound there, but he got it kind of stuck up in the air there. Yep. Then it landed. Yep. His foot out of bounds. 2.07 to go in the ball game. 12-point lead for FCA. Another block by Patacha. <laughs> Under two minutes to go in the game. You know, you see him taking the air out of the basketball, so to speak. Yep, arcing that ball a little bit. Barnes and Dupe in, McLaughlin Old Field out. 150 to go. Said no harm, no foul, let him play. See, FCA's not attacking the basket now. Yeah. They're just, they're just. Uh, Chowing down the, cow, uh, the that's clock. That's right, clock is their friend. They're just trying to take the air out of the basketball to get the victory. Sullivan, back door to Carpenter, puts it up and in. Nice play there. Nice pass by Sullivan. Absolutely. Steven nice with 14. Right there, Steven. And we're at 60 seconds to go in the game. 14-point lead for FCA. Rebound, Patochnik kicks it out to Sullivan. And smartly takes the air out of the basketball and sets it up. 
now they might look for an alley-oop if they can get it. <laughs> 35 seconds, timeout, Coach Hooper. 34.4 seconds to go. FCA is going to win this ball game and win the mocap. How does that sound? Pretty In their good. final season, FCA will grab a share of the mocap, right? They'll finish, not, it, it'll be 9-0 and after tonight. Yeah. And their nearest competitor will have two losses. I wonder if they'll meet them in the tournament, though. Maybe. They might meet them in the tournament. You, you just never know the draw. The tournament's the second season. You know that with um, football. Oh, right? yeah. You get it in tournaments. You're all about the tournament, right? To get oh, yeah. a second chance all to about play. It. That's the fun stuff. That's where the memories are made. Yeah. You have to kind of play in a. Well, you didn't really play at a neutral site, though. Uh, yeah. At Newark Catholic. They were a good football team. Oh, right yeah, they were. Definitely big and physical. They're a good basketball team, too, this yeah. year. They are, uh, they're good at, they're good at everything. Yes, they got a good program up there. The three top teams in uh, Central Ohio in Division Four would probably be Afrocentric, Newark Catholic, and FCA. Yeah. So it will be interesting to see what happens with the draw uh, coming into the tournament, where FCA is placed, uh, who they play and see how far they can advance. 14-point lead. There's to Spurgis up and in. That's what they were looking for. Nick Spurgis with eight. A little more pad to the lead right there. <laughs> Coach Hooper says not to foul. Shot missed, and that ball goes out of bounds. FCA will have the ball with... 9.3 seconds to go. Yeah, and Gahanna's not going to do anything about it now. They'll just go let it run down. And there you see the fans giving FCA a standing ovation. Final score, FCA 49, Gahanna Christian 33 for Caleb Waltz and the rest of the FCA media team, Blake Barr, Cassie Shooter, Caleb and Sam Kandra, Harrison Poole, and J.T. Burcham. This is Jack Davidson thanking you for watching FCA Sports on LSN. Once again, the final score, FCA beats Gehanna Christian by a score of 49 to 33. From this time to next time, have a good night, everybody.